Hey guys, welcome to my new video. This is my new video in the series of every iPhone tips. There will be a lot more tips in this series, so stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. Also, you can click over here to see the playlist for my earlier videos on iPhone tips, mainly like how to download free music or free ringtones on your iPhones, how to remove water from your iPhone by just an application, and there are many more tips in this series. So let's start the video but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. If you are getting lots of notifications, sometimes it can bother you. Apple gives you a way to control your notifications so only few of selected apps can give you notifications and you can control the other notifications which you will get but at the same time it will not bother you. How to do that? Just go to settings, go to general, go to screen time. Now in screen time you have an option of downtime. Just click on that. You can set a schedule for a time away from the screen. Only applications that you choose to allow and the phone calls will be available. Click to enable that. Now you can choose downtown every day or you can customize the day. Suppose you don't want any notifications on your day off and the rest of the days you are okay. Accordingly you can choose. Also you can choose the timing for example 9 pm to 1 pm as per your liking and your convenience. For example 9 pm to just for this video I'll do 9 to 9 pm if you choose to customize some days you can click on customize days and for example you're off on saturday sundays and you don't want any notification so you can choose the timing accordingly so every day in a week can be customized i choose every day once you have set the downtime you can just click on always allowed so these are the application which i always allow because i need to see the notification from these primary apps like phone calls messages maps chrome and gmail suppose you don't want any of these you can click on the minus and remove it and if there is any other app like for example camera you can add it so once you are done your editing you can go back also there is an option for app limits so you can add limit to social media applications games entertainments here you can set timing like 10 hours, 7 hours. You can choose every day or you can choose um, specific days. I don't want to assign any app limits so let's leave it. So if you have an iPad which has the same iCloud you can just click over here to share the same downtime across the device. Now once you have set your downtime you will see a huge change in your home screen. So when you go back to your home screen you will see all the application which you haven't allowed the permission. They are dimly lit. It means that you will get notifications from these applications but it will be hidden. You have to go and search for the notification. Only the apps which you have allowed as your default application for downtime, you will constantly get notifications from those apps like Gmail, your like messages, like phone calls. Suppose during the day you need to use any of the apps which you are not allowing in your downtime. For example, Instagram, you click on the app. So it will give you a notification that so you have reached your limit on Instagram. You can click on ignore limit. So you can either choose the first option which is remind me in 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes again it will go back to the sleep mode. Or you can click on the ignore limit for today. So suppose you have set the Instagram limit for 5 days or 6 days. If you click over here for today the limit is going to be removed. So when you go back to the home screen you see the normal icon. But again the next day if you have set the limit it will again go dimly lit. Notifications are part of our life but it's good to see that Apple is giving us one option to control your notifications. Wasn't it easy guys? Subscribe for more iPhone tips in the future and do hit the thumbs up if you like the video. See you soon in my next video till then goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon the bell icon so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video till then goodbye.